The MC-55A Peregrine, a highly modified Gulfstream G550 business jet, represents a cornerstone of Australia's next-generation airborne intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, and electronic warfare capabilities. Developed by L3 Harris Technologies for the Royal Australian Air Force, this platform promises to transform how Australia monitors and counters threats in the Indo-Pacific region. Announced in 2019 as part of a $2.46 billion acquisition, the program aimed to deliver four aircraft by 2023, but a series of delays has pushed the first delivery to 2025. These setbacks, driven by foreign military sales, complexities, Federal Aviation Administration certification challenges, and technical hurdles in adapting the G550's aerodynamics have tested the patience of stakeholders. Yet, as L3 Harris highlighted at the 2025 Avalon Air Show, the Peregrine's unmatched capabilities and strategic importance make it a worthy investment. The Peregrine's origins trace back to Australia's AR555 Phase 1 initiative, designed to replace the Royal Australian Air Force's aging AP3C Orion aircraft with a modern ISR and EW platform. In June 2017, the U.S. State Department approved a potential FMS deal for up to five modified G550s, valued at $1.3 billion. By March 2019, Australia committed to acquiring four MC55As, with L3 Harris securing over $628 million to transform green G550 airframes into sophisticated military platforms. Based at Royal Australian Air Force Base Edinburgh, South Australia, the Peregrine is designed to integrate seamlessly with Australia's joint warfighting network, connecting platforms like the F-35A Lightning II, E-7A Wedgetail, EA-18G Growler, and Naval Assets. The program leveraged the U.S. Air Force's 645th Aeronautical Systems Group for oversight, with initial airframes ordered in 2016 and 2018. Modifications began at L3 Harris's Greenville, Texas facility, and flight testing commenced in 2022, revealing the aircraft's distinctive features, including a ventral canoe sensor housing and antenna arrays. However, the path to operational readiness has been fraught with challenges, particularly within the FMS framework. As a developmental acquisition managed through the U.S. Air Force, the MC-55A program required intricate coordination between Canberra, Washington, and L3 Harris. The bureaucratic intricacies of FMS approvals, coupled with Australia's role as the launch customer for this unique G550 configuration, slowed progress. Unlike other G550-based platforms, such as the U.S. Air Force's EC-37B Compass Call, the Peregrine's bespoke sensor suite demanded tailored integration complicating data sharing and export control agreements. Australia's 2023-2024 National Audit Office report underscored the significant engineering, integration and flight test activities still underway, highlighting how the lack of a precedent for the MC-55A's configuration extended the timeline. This first-of-its-kind status, while innovative, meant navigating uncharted regulatory and technical territory delaying milestones like mission systems integration and flight testing. Compounding these issues were delays in securing FAA supplemental type certification for the modified G550 airframe. The addition of external features, such as the ventral sensor housing and dorsal antenna arrays, altered the aircraft's outer mold line, impacting its aerodynamic performance. These changes necessitated extensive collaboration with Gulfstream to recalibrate flight parameters and ensure airworthiness. The certification process, finally completed in late 2024, was a pivotal milestone, but required nearly two years of additional testing beyond the original 2023 delivery target. The developmental nature of the program amplified these challenges, as the MC-55A's unique mission systems unlike those of other G550 variants, demanded bespoke aerodynamic adjustments. L3 Harris and Gulfstream conducted rigorous flight tests to validate the aircraft's stability, but the complexity of certifying a military-modified business jet for operational use significantly extended the timeline. Technical challenges in modifying the G550's aerodynamics 
further contributed to the delays. The ventral canoe compartment, which houses a custom sensor suite, altered the aircraft's flight characteristics, requiring updates to the flight computer. Additional modifications, including a dorsal satellite communications antenna farm, a large SATCOM fairing on the vertical stabilizer, and a bulbous tail cone potentially housing an electro-optical infrared turret, increased drag and necessitated recalibration of handling qualities. Jason Lambert, L3 Harris ISR president, noted that these aerodynamic changes were a primary driver of delays as they required close partnership with Gulfstream to maintain the G550's performance, including its 15-hour endurance and 51,000-foot service ceiling. Integrating advanced signals intelligence and EW systems, likely supplied by L3 Harris and possibly BAE systems, added further complexity, as these systems had to function seamlessly without compromising the aircraft's operational range or agility. At the 2025 Avalon Australian International Air Show, L3 Harris provided reassuring updates, signaling that the MC55A program is on the cusp of delivery. Jason Lambert confirmed to Flight Global that the first Peregrine, now adorned with Royal Australian Air Force markings, is slated for delivery in 2025, following the FAA certification milestone in 2024. He emphasized the aircraft's unparalleled ISR capabilities, stating, there's nothing else in the world that matches MC-55. L3 Harris also revealed that mission systems integration is complete, with the first aircraft having conducted a functional check flight with sensors installed. The company is now operating within the agreed schedule and cost targets, a testament to overcoming earlier hurdles. Lambert also hinted at broader interest, noting that L3 Harris is preparing a similar G550-based platform for an undisclosed FMS customer, leveraging the Peregrine's outer mold line and mission package. This development suggests that the MC-55A's challenges have paved the way for future efficiencies in G550-based EW platforms. Despite the delays, the MC-55A Peregrine's strategic value makes it worth the wait. Its advanced SIGINT and EW systems enable it to monitor and disrupt a wide range of electromagnetic signals, from mobile networks to air defense systems, offering capabilities comparable to the U.S. Air Force's RC-135 rivet joint, but in a more agile package. The Peregrine's integration into Australia's fifth-generation warfighting network enhances multi-domain operations, linking air, sea, and land assets in complex electromagnetic environments. With a 15-hour endurance, 600 miles per hour cruise speed, and 51,000-foot ceiling, it can conduct long-range missions from forward bases, like the Cocos Islands, supporting operations across the Indo-Pacific. Its ability to operate from allied bases, such as Diego Garcia and Guam, strengthens Australia's role in AUKUS and Five Eyes partnerships. Although the fleet is small, its high capability and synergy with other ISR assets like the P-8A Poseidon and MQ-4C Triton amplify its impact. The Peregrine's modular design also ensures longevity, allowing for future upgrades to counter evolving threats. Its development has positioned Australia as a pioneer in G550-based EW platforms, potentially attracting interest from other nations. The program's challenges, while significant, reflect the ambition of delivering a transformative capability. As L3 Harris's updates at Avalon 2025 indicate, the MC-55A is nearing operational status, ready to bolster Australia's defense posture. By overcoming FMS hurdles, FAA certification delays, and technical complexities, the Peregrine is set to deliver unmatched ISR and EW capabilities, proving that patience and perseverance will yield a platform that redefines airborne warfare for the Royal Australian Air Force and its allies.